All right, DB, what's that? Oh, I'm not one of them. What's going on, everybody, today? I don't know, you don't want to have to talk about AMA. <laughs> yeah, no, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I don't know what you said. What's our I really don't know what you said Boomhauser. either. Boomhauser. 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 Boom is... Boom. Boomhauer. Boomhauer, thank you. That's what he just sounded like. I just want to talk a little bit about um the convention that went on this past weekend, uh, Ty Ward Comic Con. And how is everybody enjoying it? This is the first day out. It's a two-day con, Saturday and Sunday, and time frame is not normal for most conventions. It's from 10 to 6, so... So it's like, hey, get the hell out. <laughs> Pretty much. They, and they really did say, hey, get the hell out. <laughs> yeah, because they did sound off the bat alarm and... <laughs> yeah, told everybody to leave, so... They said, you ain't got to... You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. I mean, well, I liked I it because... I feel like it grew a little bit since last, or noticeably since last year too. I unfortunately didn't go last year. I mean, like first thing in the morning, there was a ton of people in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the line was around the move. corner. Yeah, and then like as the day got closer to the end, it like thinned out, which you know is ex- expected, especially with a convention like that being mostly um, geared towards like the maybe the. The, the comic scene, because there was a lot the comic of comics. Scene, not like the comic scene, like the, uh, oh, this is something cool I can take the kids to, kind of thing. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I like it because comics. it was, it seemed more friendly to everyone. Outsiders? And it was, a uh, Outsiders? <laughs> yeah. what you said. It was a lot of, uh, <laughs> there were, uh, like you said before, Josh, there were a lot of uh, guests that you probably wouldn't see at normal anime conventions. Right. Yeah. So. Well, it's not only that, like, you go to anime conventions. Like Ernie Hudson. <laughs> yep. Yeah. You would see, you know, voice actors for anime and all that other jazz. You go to a comic convention, you're seeing people that you've seen on screen. Yeah. Like, uh, you Steve Bloom, we all know who Steve Bloom is. He's, you know, convention king. He's even done Pizza Hut commercials. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Of course, and then you had, uh, what was it? Dante Ernie from... Hudson. Brian Hudson or whatever? Ernie Hudson. Ernie Hudson. From the original Ghostbusters. He was there. And then you had Sam Jones, who was Flash Gordon. And Jake the Snake. Oh, sorry. Jake the Snake. You oh. had um, oh. the guy who played... Oh, you all right? I'm trying to talk and not throw up at the same time. You had the guy who played uh, Dante on Clerks and Clerks 2. Yeah, he was there. He was over on the complete opposite side of the guy. Celebrity <laughs> thing. That's probably why I didn't see him. And you have the um, second yellow Power Ranger. Yeah. Yeah, she I saw there. her. So you had some decent people there. I mean, like, and I feel you had as... the DC artist. Yeah. Um, the one guy that did the Kyle Rayner run of Green Lantern. Um, the guy who did what was what are you the Hellblazer the Hellblazer series of Constantine. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what the other guy did. Um, well, he had the uh, lead character designer for Archer. Yeah. yeah. Well, but no, like the other guy, he was a younger guy. I think he did like one of the Batman and Robin or Robin Forever or whatever. Mm-hmm. Batman and Robin Forever. Uh, the get the writer of. Uh, I don't think they were writers. I think they were more like artists and. But like the coolest thing about it was, there. it's like they weren't trying to hide them from you either. Yeah, they weren't hiding. They had <laughs> a area. Where it was, here's all their tables, come see them. It actually said, like, Celebrity Zone or something yeah, like yeah. that. <laughs> Which I think is cool, though, like, you know. You can walk by and see them. Say, hey, how you doing? Because, like, in an anime convention. They like, block them They hide them. They like, hide them. You hotel. don't really know who they are, either. Here, you, a lot, everybody's going to know who they are, like, you know, sooner or later. They're going to figure out who they are. But, again, it was cool. It had a lot of unique stuff. We got a couple, some freebies from everybody. So. And see, that's the thing, um. I remember going to uh, San Diego Comic Con. It was pretty much set up like that, but you know, San Diego Comic Con, larger yeah, scale. Bigger. Yeah, yeah, plus they had, they had they uh, like bigger, cooler stuff going on too. Yeah, they had stuff from you know studios and movie studios, TV studios, game uh, manufacturers. But well, WGN was there. It's just they weren't doing anything crazy. Yeah, they were promoting like the tomorrow the uh, that four way crossover thing. Um, what is it? The, the, the League? League of Legends? or League Legends of, of Tomorrow. Legends, Legends of, of Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Legends of Leagues. <laughs> Legends of Leagues. League of Legends. <laughs> but, uh, 
Yeah, it was just like it was just like um <laughs> a smaller scale. That's pretty much what you expect at comic conventions. They have their panels and some of their guests will do like, you know, panel rooms and everything like that, mm. but they have the guests. I remember um when I went to uh Comic Con they had the first Black Ranger there, he was out in the dealer's room or whatnot. Yeah. And then he had a panel later on. Yeah. And um, I even remember seeing Le- uh, Lou Ferrigno <laughs> out in the dealer's room. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. So yeah. Um, you will not like me when I'm angry. Because you're always deaf. <laughs> you will not like me when I'm angry. You will not like me when I'm angry. I'm like, I'm going to fuck with you guys. <laughs> That's mean. We shouldn't do stuff like that. No, we shouldn't because we're bad people. So, but Jesus Christ! All right, for a first time goer to the Comic Con, the Tidewater Comic Con, actual comic convention, uh, actual comic comic convention, I had a lot of fun. This one, however, like, kind of had it all, wham, yeah, and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, and because we didn't, we really weren't all that prepared, trying to find stuff, kind of sucked. Like, well, they didn't. If you have, didn't they didn't have give a, you a schedule, you mean like they never get, was in one place? Yeah, no, like everything was in one place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was kind of hard to move around to because, like, unless you want to. I didn't like if they had the game stuff set up with the dealer's room. Yeah, and like I get why they did that though because you had GameStop right there, but like you, um, everything was right next to each other, which was cool. But like, it just concentrated everybody, and I feel like if they next year maybe they'll. Um, it's a little bigger venue, or maybe instead of no, just no, having the part of the venue, they have the, the whole, whole thing. venue. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. But again, the Virginia Beach Convention out. Center, yeah. like in my opinion, like the rooms upstairs aren't that big. There's not a lot of room upstairs. No, we went to um, forget what it was. It was it was one of the panels upstairs, and there was no standing room. Like you open the door. People are sitting on the floor. Every chair is completely filled. Yeah, it's because, like... It was like, one of the big, one, big, 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 big panels at the Yeah, end. but they're wide. And it was, they're it, not long. It, no, it was in the tiniest little room off to the corner. <coughs> yeah. Like, they thought the DC guys were going to be the biggest, so they had, like, three of those rooms worth yeah. of space, but the biggest one was all, like, eeny, beeny, beeny, space. Yeah. I did But, I mean, that's just... That's, again, that's just the, the, the area that they're at. On. Yeah. I feel like... If they got a little bit bigger <coughs> space or a better, I mean, they just spread it out a little bit. Yeah, you find like, better. or maybe they maybe take another instead of having like such a big deal. This room, maybe you take like another hall. Do the artist alley. Yeah, spread it, break it up a little bit because you got a lot of room out in front. You can put stuff. I was like there was nothing going on out in the hallways. Yeah, it was just check line and get inside. check line, get stuff. Well, I'll let and you know that that's typical of, I think that's typical of comic conventions because they did that at San Diego as well. Pretty much the San Diego convention is probably like twice as big as the Virginia Beach, but it's layout as far as like limp is similar. So you've got like down one in the whole bottom floor is nothing but the dealer slash artist slash everything down there. Mm-hmm. So you'll have like down the further end. I don't even think we we saw the whole thing because <laughs> down one end was like uh, people coming in selling their stuff like t-shirts and shops or whatever. Then you had like the video game area where they had like video game exhibits and stuff like Xbox, PlayStation, so- uh, Sony, stuff like that. You had like mm-hmm. the mo- uh, comic studios, Marvel, DC, then you had movie studios then you had television and then you had like artists and it was just it was huge it's extremely hard to even what beer he wants to drink i want to drink dv it's even it's (laughs) it was so hard to just like even see everything just by looking at one end it's no way you could do it like yeah, by looking that's at it. San Diego Comic Con. Yeah, that's, this one needs to be. That's like, but I mean, Comic Con. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Putting it all in one room, it's not anything you know. Different. Born, you know. I mean, that's fine. I just kind of want it. Because upstairs, that's where you would have like your panels or like 
your Hall H's for a Comic Con or whatnot that would be like, you know, hey, this new show's coming out or we're going to display this trailer for this movie or something like that. You have that stuff upstairs. The one thing I do have to criticize, like majorly criticize, is the panels that me and Wesley went to to try and, you know, sit in on, listen to, and actually, you know, put our name out there. They were having major technical difficulties, and none of the staff knew where anything was. Even though it was all written down on paper, and they all had paper, nobody knew what was going on. If this stuff was even still going on. Lack of organization. La just a pure lack of organization. I don't think it was a lack of organization. I think they just didn't know how to do the panels and all that. And plus, even in the swag bag that we got just for coming there, there was no, hey, this is where this is at at this time. We had to, like, track down somebody that had that. Cool thing that um San Diego did was they digitized it. Like, you had to download it from their website. Yeah, but that's going, like, the bigger and bigger... Convention, yeah, that, yeah, Nickel kind of started doing that too. Yeah, and even, even if they had too. done that, that yeah. would have been fine. But like when we went and got our badges, nobody had schedules. When we went to when I went to go to the registration desk for the regular con goers, yeah, they didn't have schedules. Yeah, but I went upstairs, I asked the man upstairs, Hey, do you know where to get schedules? No, they're supposed Is to have them down line? here. No. There's no website? They didn't have any. They just said they're posted they have a about. Website, but it's not. It's not up there? Mm -mm. They just said they're posted about, or you can get them here and here. And I was like, nobody has any. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're yeah, all they like. It could have been just like they What did. it might have been. They ran because, out. <laughs> no, they didn't run out, but they had so many like reschedules and cancellations and stuff like that. They probably didn't put them out. Yeah, it's probably they couldn't get it organized in time. Yeah. Which I get. I get. I understand that. But overall. I really, really liked it. I mean, they had a tattoo island over there where people were doing tattoos. With students like, they were actually all. doing tattoos. Was I was cool. like, yeah. I was like, whoa. Yeah, considering I found one of my, my, my very first tattoo artists after years of trying to figure out where he was at. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but again, it's, 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 I liked it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I mean, we saw a lot of cool new up and coming stuff around here. Really, Starship Horizons was there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we all do. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why they didn't do it. Um, Probably because they're like we're tired of going places. I think they're at another convention this weekend because I see something. Oh yeah, there, there is another convention this weekend. Yeah, yeah. I heard something about it. Awesome another convention. Something? No, yeah. not awesome. Con. Everything That's is like, awesome. Uh, in June, but it's uh, something I saw on there on Facebook page. Well, the, the Chicago there. thing is going on too. So yeah, but again, I don't know it's, how it's, far they would go out. I mean, they'll probably do go wherever if it's going to draw a crowd. But anyway, I mean, they, they had a little bit of everything for everybody. I mean, you had crafty stuff. You had the really crazy out there. Like, a lot of good. I like how they kept everything close-knit. Like, you know, uh, remember they had that stage display where Mike uh, Fred Raleigh, he's the person who actually started uh, Tide War Comic Con. He yeah. got up on stage and you know did like the costume contest and the uh the dance I feel like they should have had that somewhere else besides right there because mm. that just locked down everything mm. it did but i do like the fact that he did it himself yeah it was cool because normally they hide mm -hmm. um mm. but it was really cool like <clears throat> i know i've been looking at my feed on facebook and like all of my friends that went there they they like there's a hardcore comic book collector on that he found a bunch of comic books that he's been looking for for a hot like they had I, I, the only reason why i didn't do it is because i know i my luck i'd never get it but they had one of the star wars vendors had um was selling like the old <laughs> old school toys oh yeah like they were all selling old school toys the kenner toys yeah the old no not just the old kenner term but the old old kenner toys like that's the original I, runs. That's what I'm talking about. The Kenner. Yeah. Like, yeah. Not the ones me and you would have gotten, but like the original ones like our parents would have gotten. But like there was one where they were all like, you can get an original, like there was a swag bag, $10 swag bag. And you, you just, you had a chance of getting the first Obi-Wan figure. I mean, yeah. Like, but he was open. Still. You know, I was like, ah. That's why he's in the grab bag. <laughs> I'm like, that's why he's in a grab bag, but they... Wow. Well, there's a bunch of stuff that did that. I mean, 
I also, what was it? That Justin Brown guy, I was really taken back by his skill as an artist and how many different mm. styles and mediums that he was working in. Mm -hmm. But again, that's the cool thing I like about these type of conventions more so than anime conventions because you do get to meet more diverse people, more diverse stuff. You know what I mean? Like everybody <laughs> goes, like, this is just me personally. From my personal opinion and personal experience, when you go to like a anime convention, you never get to see any of the artists no. that are actually drawing the mangas. You know? Yeah. I mean, mainly because most of them are over there overseas and probably don't speak a whole lot of English. And so we can only get, you know... Like artists, alley artists. Artists, art, alley artists, and then the art, you know, and then the voice actors. So, but, like, I really liked how we were able to get up close and personal with the people, the artists, the writers, the directors for this. Yeah. Ooh, excuse me. So, like, I really liked that, but I kind of wanted it a little spread out because I'm bumping into people everywhere. Well, that's because there was just a massive amount of people in there early. No, like, like when I, mean, I would go yeah. to, like, the artists, like, not even to the artists, but to the vendors, to go and weave through their collectible racks of yeah. everything that I want to ever own in my entire life but can't because I'm not a millionaire. Yes. Like, I'm bumping into the shelves. I'm bumping into other people. There's I'm, barely I, enough room that, to walk. Again, I feel like I, if they get more space... They, there was just barely enough room around. for it's one probably, person to pass up and down the aisle. Yeah. And there was enough room where they could have spread it out a little bit even in that little space. Yeah. It's like, on either side, you had an, at least three people wide. Yeah. On either side. Go ahead, DB. Yeah, it's probably an issue of space, but like I'm saying, <clears throat> comic conventions are a whole new level than <laughs> anime conventions. Because comic conventions, right. there's going to be more people there. <laughs> like, anime conventions, you'll have like your fan bases and everything like that. But only in places like Japan and the West, I mean not the West, but the East, are you actually going to get a massive amount of people that it seems like it's too many over here in the states and in the western culture you're going to get comic conventions that are going to be packed going through the uh, san diego convention we had to follow train lines basically and i've lost like i remember losing me scotty and mary were there we lost each other a couple of times because trying race. to freaking go through the train lines and you have to follow those lines where everybody, you can't stop and like take pictures like you can at these conventions or yeah. whatever. You can try to say like, hey, let's go over to this wall or whatnot. But it's so wide. It's like if you're stuck in the middle, you don't know what wall to go to. because You don't human know whether it's that centipede. one or that one. Yeah. It's the human centipede of the common convention. It's, it's so like <laughs> the paths are just like, okay, follow the train. See what you gotta see. If you wanna stop off, go ahead, shoot off and go there or whatever. If not, keep it moving because yeah. they make sure that they keep the line moving because they can't have people standing out in the middle of like places, in the middle of the space or whatnot because it's packed. Just like, I don't completely know. <laughs> packed. Like. And the one thing that I applaud this one for, and I think it's gonna end up being bigger because I know they're trying to get as big as like Richmond Comic Con. They're trying to be like a Wizard World level one. Yes, I think they're trying to be and that's, very big. And I think that's very good of this area or whatnot because... Because we need something that way. You have a lot of... You have a lot of... Fans here, but... A lot of comic fans here. Heck, you've got so many comic book stores here. You do. You've got Borderless. You've yeah. got Comic Kings. You've got Atlantis. You've got Atomic Trilogy. Comics. You've got Trilogy. All those comic book places in this area, and whatnot, and and that's just the comic book places. That's not places, other places too, like like video games, Barnes and Nobles, or, mm -hmm. or, or 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 old school or cool stuff, or like I said, or other and nerdy stuff like that too. Mm -hmm. That you know you take forever to find. And now that now now that we've been around for a minute and walk actually know where everything's at, we see all this cool shit. You know, fantasy was there from over in Newport News. They were there. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. but I mean. It's it's really cool because you, you, I feel like that particular convention, Tidewater Comic Con, 
you know, is a lot more inviting to the general public. Not just the nerdy public, but the general public. Because I would know there's a lot of people, like, just watching the yeah, kids there. And the kids are like, oh, my God, it's so cool. And the dad's like, man, I remember this. You know? <laughs> I remember and this. I was like, what? You know? I mean, that's something cool you can take the family to. And you got to... it's not as alienating. Because the thing with yeah. the, comic, the comic conventions, it's not only just comics, but it can also be a little bit of sci-fi in there. Yeah. Some, some anime and manga. Yeah. Or whatnot. Mm-hmm. But... It's all connecting together, you know. With sci-fi conventions, it's gonna be strictly sci-fi. The trekkie nerds. And With all that. anime convention, it's gonna be mostly anime. Yeah. You know. Comic con. Comic con. Comic conventions are that gap that's like, hey, we're the heart. You guys are the branches. Yeah. Branches. I mean, they, they, they had it started too. They really did have a nice everything. Yeah, you can right, find like, everything. Like, I could go in there and, like, find Star Wars stuff. DB could go in there and find his, you know, Aquaman stuff. You could go find Star Wars stuff and whatever else. Like, your PlayStation stuff. Yeah, I mean, it, there's a little bit of everything in there. And that's that's what the cool thing about it was. And the way everything was laid out, like, you had your artist alley, or artists, like, your local artists and all that over there. You had your bigger yeah. vendors over there. I like that. I really like I like this setup I wish all conventions would have this nice just feel of everything like I love some of the costumes yeah. that I saw today like there was a Darth Talon a Darth Maul Revan um, I even saw um, what's his face the um, mm, dangly parts Zoidberg no, the Jedi there. dangly parts. I can't remember his name. Uh, Plo Koon. There you go. Plo oh, yeah. Koon. So, yeah. Like, there was the huge... Um, what's his face? Uh, Megatron. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That huge he's been Megatron. Around. He's been going to do a local yeah. for a hot minute. Mm-hmm. This is the first time I've seen him. Like, it was just wow. The amount of cost people, the cosplayers, were great. Everybody seemed nice. It was very family friendly. Just lacked organization. I think they're working on it. It's, but that comes with time. That comes with time. It's like just the first couple of years, so. It takes time. Was it like the third year, fourth year? Yeah. Time like that. Yeah. So I mean, it takes time. It was a lot larger than I, I thought. It was. Yeah. It was, was going to be. It was more mm-hmm. geared towards the dealer's room and stuff, but. That, that is the one other thing I was like, like I kind of wanted but more. But again, like, if you looked at it, it wasn't all, like, even in the dealer's room, if you looked at, like, all the things that were going on, it wasn't just people peddling stuff. Mm-hmm. It was people that were, like, showcasing their stuff. I mean, yeah. you had, like, your 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 big booths, like your, uh, uh, your, your paint stop booth and all this other stuff. <clears throat> yeah. Tanya's just trying to drag <clears throat> Casey into it and all this other jazz. But no, oh, yeah. you had, you had, uh... Uh, here you go. What was it? What's the word I'm looking for? You had booths that were showing off their new tech and swag and all that. Some game developers were there. Uh, of course, we found that lady that was doing the charity game thing that mm-hmm. we're going to be doing. So yeah, yeah, true, <clears throat> true. Of course, and then you had the displays like the the Batmobiles and the the yeah, they, Jurassic they, Park Jeep the, and the all dress, the the yep. the speeder. Yeah, and then yeah, and the then the speeder they, bike yeah. that actually had like the clone troop or not the clone, the scout trooper with it. Yeah, and then you had like. Um, the big Ghostbusters uh, reboot up in there. Mm-hmm. You, what do you got? You trying to spin the wheels? Oh, we're trying to wrap it up. Okay. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, that was um, pretty much everybody's first impressions of the um, first day of Ty War Comic Con. We might be back with the tomorrow. See how it is, you know. So uh, we'll see you guys next time. All right. Thank you guys. Bye, guys.